What are signs that you are an unattractive person? This is the stuff that made me realize I'm ugly. I've been asked out as a prank twice. I've never been complimented on my physical appearance. All my girlfriends growing up were hit on constantly and I've never been hit on. When people go out of their way to say they're not attracted to you. I've been trying dating apps in a major city and maybe get one swipe a week and they never reply. Anytime I've ever said anything bad about my physical appearance gets meet with well you have a nice personality. I've been told I'm ugly many times but I find a lot of people trying to imply it to me all the time, like for instance my friends and I were talking about sexual harassment and they told me that I'm lucky I don't have to worry about being harassed, stuff like that. And generally the opposite gender can be really mean for no reason and I always try to be nice and positive but some people are just mean and noticeably nice to others. Or what worse is when they are mean to me until my pretty friend comes up and suddenly they nice. This. I have always noticed that pretty people, irrespective of gender, get told they are pretty practically from birth, repeatedly, by everyone around them. So the she was pretty but she didn't know it trope that inundates media is utter bullshit, emo. The reverse is true as well, unattractive people get told they are so from birth as well. The biggest compliment that can be hoped for is you are not that attractive but you have pretty eyes slash hair slash xyz feature lol. Speaking from experience v. The interview one kills me because in the past year I've gone to hundreds and always gotten rejected. Even for basic roles that require little to no experience. Disappointed face. I have to say some of these answers are absolute BS. An attractive guy might not get hit on because people are intimidated of him. Also it depends on the situation and whether or not it makes sense to do it. Like most people probably wouldn't hit on someone at a grocery store for example. And as far as asking someone why they're still single, many people many not feel comfortable openly discussing relationships like that. Here are some genuine signs you are ugly. Random people who see you look disgusted and make a face as if they just tasted something super sour. In other words just looking at you creeps them out. Average people usually don't get stared at at all, while ugly people receive grossed out stares. In social gatherings people avoid you as actively as possible and you can tell that it's out of genuine discomfort rather than shyness. Even when you try to interact they'll ignore you as if you don't exist. But again it's important to pay attention to body language as attractive people may also experience this due to intimidation, but if you're ugly the people will look creeped out. When you tell someone you're ugly they look uncomfortable and try to change the subject as quickly as possible. Or they might say no but it sounds extremely forced and not at all genuine. Babies cry around you or children say stuff like you. I have an aunt who's very physically unattractive and when my sister was younger she would always cry around her. You get low scores on rating websites like photo feeler. But this could also mean it's a bad pick or you aren't photogenic. I've always found myself average at best. Sometimes I feel ugly. But if your theory about children crying is correct, then perhaps I'm not as bad looking as I thought. My mom was babysitting this 10-month-old baby. And I started talking to my mom and jokingly explained to her how young children and dogs can tell when someone is a terrible person. Then five seconds later she said mama to me. LOL I know it was a coincidence but still funny. Then I was like never mind, I guess I'm not such a bad person. I'm a guy and no, she never cried in front of me, just kind of looked curiously. You get low scores on rating websites like Photo Feeler. But this could also mean it's a bad pick or you aren't photogenic. No I don't agree with app at all. My confidence tanked heavily when I posted my pics and it took me a year to realize I am not ugly. Don't use Photo Feeler please. Said this somewhere else, went from kinda ugly to decently attractive, willing to send people pictures to show what I mean, the genetics were there. I just was morbidly obese, didn't take showers or really pay much mind to hygiene in general, and regularly either had a full buzz cut or cropped hair. I started putting work into myself, lost weight, 
started taking regular showers, all of that. I say all of that to say that people treat you differently when you're unattractive. People are usually more blunt and to the point, some people don't even talk to you at all unless they have to and there's an air of let's get this over with. Like real talk, there are people just at my apartment who knew me before I lost the weight I lost and started working on myself and know me now and how some of them treat me is night and fucking day. On the flip side, when I made friends, they were typically real friends. Now it's kind of always a question. Especially with men. When men are extremely aggressive towards you or decide to bully you for no reason. Also, if you cannot get most people, even most nerdy ones, to be your friend or you think they are but later learn they aren't. People generally see you as annoying and don't even try to get to know you. The only guys who flirt with you are 20 to 30 years older than you or are the exact opposite of your type, no one your age wants to be associated with you, like, ever. And the ones who do are guys who are already in relationships and of they are even remotely your type, it feels like they get in relationships just to avoid being considered a romantic option by you. When I was younger I wasn't exactly someone anyone was interested in. But I had a few instances where someone very attractive came and was overly friendly. Asking lots of questions and being flirty but acting weird. Turns out it was a prank and they wanted to make me think someone was interested in me and get me to do something stupid so they could all mock me. So. If they do that you might be ugly. Okay story time because this just unearthed some deeply seated trauma for me. So I grew up as a not so pretty kid. People would do exactly what you said to me. Prank flirt with me so they could laugh at my reaction afterward. All kinds of mean stuff like that. Anyway, I eventually grew up of this ugly duckling phase and became somewhat pretty as an adult. The problem with that however is that it took me a very long time to internalize this change. I was still years later under the impression that I was very unattractive. Anyway, one day in university, a guy asked me out in front of his friends, and I rejected him pretty harshly because I thought it was again one of these nasty jokes at my expense. I was so, so very wrong. I'll never forget the sadness on his face and the face of second-hand embarrassment slash cringe I could see on his friend's face after that rejection. The time seemed to stand still after I refused his advance, and then I went away not entirely understanding what happened. I didn't understand why no one was laughing. Why the guy seemed so sad. Even as I was walking away, the silence was standing still and the guy seemed to be in comfort mode with their friend. I'm not sure why I'm sharing this story now other than to say that whoever you are, dude, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to be so harsh and had I knew, I would have reacted so differently. Crazy what childhood bullying can do to a person, especially if they are deemed ugly by their peers. I never understood why they thought that shit was funny. I learned by fourth grade to just walk away. My friends and I were talking about sexual harassment and they told me that I'm lucky I don't have to worry about being harassed, stuff like that. Sorry but your friends are not at all nice for this. WTF. Same. But this doesn't mean you're ugly today. Had the same happen to me when I was 14. I was small, had braces and was the new one so am easy target. But now 15 years later I grew a few sizes, got straight teeth and due to past trauma a great sense of humor. Working out slash being fit and being dressed well does wonders to your number on the attractivity scale. Sexual harassment and assault doesn't discriminate based on looks pouting face. This made me remember when I thought this guy liked me. He hit on me, he wasn't mean, I was shy. But he ended up being with my friend who was popular and hot. I think I might have been the conduit to her slightly frowning face. Oh yup getting asked out as a joke was always so cruel. Had three boys do it when I was in high school and the instinctive desire to just cry but you had to hold it back and laugh like oh no I'm in on the joke, and it's so funny. Sorry but your friends sound awful. You deserve better. The only thing I'm triggered about is your friends. 
I know that people suck with their disgusting shallow standards but your friends being like that. Those aren't friends you can't call them that tf. I'm sorry for what you've been going through, it may sound weird or ridiculous to you but I myself believe that everyone is beautiful and unique in a way, the only thing that can make you ugly is the way you act. Isolate yourself from negative people who don't appreciate you. I can't believe how can people be like that. How old are those people you're dealing with? This is so immature and disgusting. Excuse my language and my mistakes if there are any I'm not a native speaker. Girl, those are not your friends. Cut them out of your life, you don't need that negativity. Sounds like bitch of friends to me. As an ugly woman, I can answer this with authority. Number 1, people will not hesitate to tell you. Trust me. My own father told me at 8 years old that nobody was going to do anything for me because I wasn't pretty. He said I better learn to take care of myself. And I did. I can't twll you how many times strangers felt the need to call me ugly. My normal response is simply, yes, I know. It usually shuts them up. You will not get interviews for jobs while equally qualified people will. I have proof, as when I was younger my best friend and I shared equal qualifications. She was always called FO for interviews and I was not. Only difference at that point? Our looks. I even filled out both of our applications. When I was studying fashion merchandising in college, my advisor actually advised me to find a new major because my appearance would keep me from being successful despite top grades. I switched to animal science. So I guess a big answer is that you don't need signs, people never let you forget it.